Well, I finally managed to get the leaking pipe out of the wall. I'd say that's a little bit of a leak. This is an inch and a half pipe. This is galvanized steel. Uh, most of the sewer pipes in the house is uh, cast iron. So, yeah, this is this would be the bottom of the pipe. So it sits like that. You see all the rust falling out of it. And I'll show you where the rust of this pipe is. under the sink right there not really the best lighting under here so yeah that's a two and a half inch pipe that is completely full of rust down to I'd say that's only about a quarter inch opening there in the center the rest of it's completely rusted so that's that is the bottom of the galvanized steel pipe this is uh, cast iron so what happens is uh, when you get two different types of metal the cast iron and the, the steel uh, you actually get electrolysis going between the two metals uh, whenever the water starts to flow through which causes one of the two metals to rust out. In this case, it's the uh, galvanized steel. And I see this a lot at work, too. Uh, in order to get to that, because our sink is here, and you see there's a window there. So the drain for the pipe come down here and went in over here. Let me get the... So it came down and then went in right here. And I cut the hole. Uh, someone had worked on this before. Uh, there's normally a nipple that comes out of the wall or a pipe that comes out of the wall. And then you got your pipe here that connects to that. At some point, someone cut that out because it would have been galvanized steel. Someone cut that out and replaced that part with uh, PVC. To where when you looked under the sink, all you saw was PVC. Uh, but it only came in to the wall right about here and everything from here over was still galvanized steel uh, that's what this this boot is here that's the uh, PVC would have slipped in here you tighten down the boot and then they put their their patch over the hole so I was hoping whenever I saw it, it was leaking I only saw the leak because of it's on the outside wall so uh, with it being on the outside wall you could see the water leaking on the outside of the house under the bricks otherwise I never would have saw it because it would be leaking underneath the cabinet like under the floor of the cabinet never would have saw it the the 2 by 4 that runs on the on the ground under the framing that's completely gone right here this leaks very old uh, Anyway, to keep this video short, I had to cut the hole much larger. There was a shelf here for the cabinet over there, and there was a, a wall here. So I had to pull that out, pull the shelf out, in order to make the hole larger. Because you could barely get to the edge of the pipe, and there was no way I was going to be able to get it out like that. I have to get the pipe wrench closer to the T, or else it would have just snapped this little rusted pipe in half. Uh, and since that window's there, you know, I was hoping that this would have actually been over here, but it, it can't run through the window. It has to go along the side of the window. That's why it's over that way. So, anyway, it's a, we were talking about removing the shelf anyway and putting a drawer system and removing this piece here and have some drawers that would come out. So, I guess that's a good reason, a good excuse to get that project started. Well, alright, well, get back to work.